Hey guys, it's Brandy. I just want to hop on and share that I uh, reorganized my paper. I've been working on that for a while. Um, I've had it all like stacked up in my um, closet. Sorry if you hear some crunching. Brooklyn is over here eating some snacks. But I'm um, trying to make you guys not sick. But um, I had everything like all piled up over here um, that I was working on. And so I finally cleared that out. And I'm trying to go slow here. And I ended up taking all my single sheets of paper, going through them, trying to organize them into categories as best as possible. Um, I still have like a huge stack, which I will show you, of randomness um, that I just don't know how to categorize. But the way I have them, they're open. So I'll be able to take them to my desk and use them as po much as possible because I'm going to try focusing on that instead of using my paper pads. Because my paper pads, everything pretty much goes together. Which is nice. Now the single sheets I bought at a grad sale. Like I buy at grad sales and stuff. But my single sheets. Um, like I bought a huge stack this year at a grad sale for like three bucks. So um, and it was just random pieces of paper. Random paper and stuff like that. So no rhyme or reason. But I just figured for three bucks. Couldn't pass it up. And I have plenty of paper to scrapbook with. So um, what I did is I used these file folder type things from home from Hobby Lobby. Um, they have a handle on them. And what I did, which I need to figure out a different way. Hold on. So I used some uh, labels from Dollar Tree and I stuck them on here and I put um, like the different categories. Like I took this kit out of um, the package um, and I'll be able to take this to crops and stuff easily to use. Um, I have like categories like travel I have holidays, which is mainly Christmas. Um, this one is like teacher, school, movie, dog, baby. Um, I have a Disney one. Stripes. Um, and then floral. Uh, sorry if you guys hear my daughter in the background. Um, and then I have one that is just random here, I believe. And then all I had all my paper kits over here where I put those single sheets. Sorry if you hear my daughter whining in the background and yelling. Um, so here's all my paper kits. And then um, I moved them from this right here. I got this at a grad sale. Um, and this is all my single sheets that I have yet to kind of organize. But as you can see, I can like flip through them and find the type of paper that I want. But I need to figure out how to organize this better. Like I have some dinosaurs. I have like a couple food sheets. Um, a lot of it's just like pretty patterned paper. So um, if you guys have any ideas on how to organize this, let me know. Um, that would come in handy. Like, I don't know, like some of these, I'm just not sure. So, um, I just have them right here for right now, and then I can easily take this to my desk. I'm hoping to move this to my desk eventually, like nearby, but right now that's where that is. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to share what I've been working on. Again, like all my kits are right here. Um, some kits that are open and are partials, I put in these um, things also from Hobby Lobby with the little drawstring type things. Um, all my partial kits are here. All my solid card stock is there. Same with my 8.5 by 11. Um, and then all my paper pads are down here. And this is a unit from Walmart. It's like the Ikea um, Calyx unit, but it's Walmart brand and it's cheaper. Um, and it works just fine. So yeah, I um, wanted to hop on and share that. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty time. Bye guys.